Hello my friends, welcome back to the Legacy of the Void Real Scale mod. We are going to Glacius, the mission where we get the sentry so that we can have a ro more robust combat composition. However, before we go there, we have to get some abilities. Now, I'm not actually going to get what you think. I'm going to go down to Temporal Field. Creates three temporal fields that freeze the enemies and structures for a time being. And we're going to get Deploy Akundalar. Three melee and two psionic warriors to any visible locations. Hmm. Interesting. All wharf gates immediately regain all their charges. That is that is exactly from the Legacy of the Void intro cutscene, isn't it? Two High Templar, three zealots, and a probe. Oh, I love that. That's so cool. Oh, that's super flavorful. Okay, we're gonna do that. Reason being, I was thinking about Solar Lance. And we all know it's going to be insane. We all know it's going to be bonkers. We're probably not going to be able to use uh, Temporal Field much because these two are going to be necessary. So I thought that for the Temple Defense mission, where there are these long corridors, that's where I want to break that baby out and see how good it actually is. Now we have a couple new units to go for. We've used the Stalker before. I'm going to move over to the Centurion. We're going to see how good that is. And then... We can go for the Immortal, who has the damage barrier. Uh, it has Hardened Shield, increases the amount of damage absorbed by the barrier, blah, blah, blah. Or the Shadow Cannon. Oh, he has Hardened Shields as well. Interesting. Can target air units and can fire its phase disruptors while walking. Now, this is a fancy boy. We're going to use the Annihilator, and we're going to see how good it actually is at annihilating. That's, this is interesting. Let's go to Glacius and let's get a sentry. I'm excited about this one. Let's see how good the real scale tall rim is. One of the reasons that I feel more comfortable using the new ability here is that, or rather than uh, the temporal field as my new ability here, is that there's not hybrid on this mission. And I think that as the campaign goes on, there's going to be more and more hybrid, and I'm going to need more and more... Uh, I'm going to need more firepower. I don't think there's anything that we can see in that, so we're just going to get everything set up all nice and quick, and we're going to start making some Robros. I'm actually really excited for Deplo Deploy a Kundalar. That's fun. I... <laughs> It's only 50 energy, not too bad. This is very cool. So we have two guys right now. We can get a Dragoon. We can get a Centurion. And we're going to get our mineral income going up real quick. And then we're going to double gas it and try to clear. Now, taking a look at the mini map, we can... I like how even the Wrathwalkers are big enough to be uh, displayed. So there's one, two, three, and four Wrathwalkers to deal with. Oh, these are just Colossus. Okay. And then I can see a capital ship in the fog somewhere. It's a carrier with four hangers and oh, 10,000 hit points. My goodness. Oh, we gotta, we gotta not die here. Uh oh, uh, I was busy looking at something else. Gonzalez, help me. I gotta fix the camera. There we go. Deploy the Kundalar. Our gateways are now calibrated to warp them in as well. What we got? Okay, we have uh, these guys, and do I just want to arc on this? How much does this do? 120 damage! Okay, we're gonna storm some stuff. <laughs> that's amazing. Ooh, that's a big amount of damage. Let's uh, get you guys over here. Put them on the point. Go robotics and forge botics. I think this little army is gonna be able to do some awesome things. Remember, no friendly damage from storm in the campaign, as it should be. Grab some of this money, and then we can move on over here. I think that three gateways in addition to a robo is probably all that we could afford. Oh, the stun is a very good combo. 
Wait, does this beam actually do damage? Yes! <laughs> the beam in the main campaign only does like 10 DPS and it's really disappointing. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's it's very powerful. I didn't even like show a damage number. The guy just was gone. <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. I'm sorry I sent you to your demise. Okay, we drop this. Oh, uh, that's. I hope that doesn't play every time. <laughs> it's cool, but it'll get annoying. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get the gateway. We're gonna wait for a couple of mortals, especially. We need the ability to hit air, which apparently these can. And yeah, because this is not fast. We have a time limit here. How much damage does this annihilator do? The Long Snoot Immortal. 100 versus large. Well, I mean, I have a target that I want to kill. So we're going to we're gonna need that 100 damage. That's Immortal. Is not a Vanguard, thank goodness. I wonder if we'll have to fight those later. I wouldn't be surprised if we have the... Uh, Regular Taldorim stuff now, maybe Taldorim stuff later. I'm not entirely sure how he decided to balance it. It may just... I don't, but I could definitely see that Wrathwalkers and Vanguards being effectively unbeatable in the early stages of the campaign. Or he's just doing it on the base campaign, which, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. That's how the base campaign goes. Either way, completely reasonable. I'm just going to keep making army. This ability is great. Oh, these don't have energy? They don't have energy. We gotta free our friend. I'm gonna make Archons. Oh, gosh. There we go. How much damage do these do? 85 versus biological, 65 against everything, 600 shields. <laughs> oh, Alarak. You're gonna be sad. Dude, this is insane. <laughs> this army is amazing. It's just crushing through. So the sentry does have guardian shield. Reduces incoming attack damage by 20%. Oh, that scales very well. I forgot that they had that ability, and I was like, oh, two armor's not going to be that good, is it? Nah, Orca thought of that. Orca thought of everything. He's a genius. We're just going to... We're just going to heal that off. You know, we could do a tandem play here. Where we send this guy in. We shadow cannon. Now he's dead. I think that means we're going to be able to just keep a pushing. Okay, it does it every time. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, there is a nice little outpost over here. I'm going to get some Dragoons for support because my melee is getting a little bit close to being instantly killed by AoE. <laughs> I don't want that to happen. Fire a Shadow Cannon right at that Photon Cannon. And then we'll grab some of the gas around here to continue my production. Things are going great. Now, there's a base up there. Normally, that base is really hard. Yes, I am going to try to kill it. Because that's more fun. And, you know, we gotta... I can't really go this way right now. <laughs> things in the way. So we might as well just do some activities. Can we bait the enemy into the beam? That's the new goal. Hey, buddies. Wanna come this way? Oh, gosh! Our forces are in mortal danger. Get them away from the beam. <laughs> it's just like, you're an idiot! What are you doing? I'm going to wait for one more Akundalar. Nice oracle. No, seriously, it was great. Man. It's really good you have the gas to afford that. Proud of you, Alarak. Alright, here we go. Put up the Guardian Shields. And try heading on in. See what they got. 
Take down that Artosis Pylon. And we try to finish off these air units before they get crazy. Oh gosh, that's Interceptors. Did you see that? They're huge! <laughs> and then I want to take an expansion. You can bring this guy right over here. Oh my god, there's so many of them! <laughs> it's amazing! This is so good! Oh, they are slaughtering my guys too. Oh, I can't tell what their stats are. There's so many of them. <laughs> but we're going to get them. We're going to get them. Then that's going to render the carrier obsolete for a bit. Oh, 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 we pulled the carrier into the beam! <laughs> no way! No way! That's amazing! Oh, I'm so happy! I that's uh, that's awesome! <laughs> I didn't notice! Oh, I thought that I was in for the fight of my life! <laughs> that's so cool! Thank you, Alarak. Oh, it must be Janara piloting, because no one else is that incompetent on the top of the room, huh? well, Let's keep going. I love that I have access to Archons before I have access to Archons, you know? By the way, uh, this expansion idea was someone in the chat last time. I don't remember your name, but I did read your comment. It was a good idea, and I appreciate it. I think it's cool using the warp in thing for it. You just don't have to walk the guy over. And this is one of the few expansions that's actually so far away that it's worth doing, you know? The shadow cannon's on. Uh, we're gonna... Let those... Let those be over there for a bit. I'm still a bit afraid. Whoa, 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 We almost got baited. Imagine if Alarak beat us with the bait. <laughs> it's like, oh... You're going to do that with my carrier, huh? Well, who can play to that game? Let's get another robo. Get the armor upgrade. I'm not sure that armor upgrades are very useful in this game. Uh, I mean, we're fighting against these things that do like 600 septillion damage. But I'm still going to get them. Because it just feels wrong to not get your armor upgrades when you're going zealots. Does all have one armor? Okay. It was the Immortal that had three. Now let's take a look at this Colossus. Only a few Shadow Cannons to take that down. Now we're going to take some serious heat as we move in. I'm actually going to try to keep the Zealots in the back for a little while. We can activate a Guardian Shield and then we're going to poke on in. Pull the Colossus over. And then use our Shadow Cannons to annihilate it. Wow. What a well-named unit! I didn't get the bonus. I need to do that. I was just waiting for the beam to move. So I'm keeping that in my mind. Keeping that in my body and in my soul. Let's head up here. And be ready for the final push. There's multiple Colossus here. These are going to be harder to take down due to their positioning. We'll let that guy live. I still can't get over how the beam killed the carrier. <laughs> it's so good. I'm gonna go. Fire! 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 I'm detecting movement from the Taldarine fleet. That's what. Oh, <laughs> you idiot! Let's fire a shadow cannon on that guy. Get the zealots out of there. First Colossus is down. Down. Thank you, Mr. Beam. I can't wait for StarCraft 3 to come out that Janara was actually working for the protagonist the entire time. She has a crush on first Alarak and then no or not Alarak, first uh, Artanis and then Nova. Yeah, you want to go in there? Wait, can you just harden shield through this? Oh, sorry, I take a maximum of 15 damage, sir. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Idiots. 
Uh, be a couple sh futon cannon shots off on these pylons to take them down. And there's the final couple guys. I think we're going to have to do the dirty work ourselves this time. Let's, uh, let's save up for a stun, and then we're going to disable them with that. Get on over here. One, two, three. First one is stunned. We can get on top of the second one. Take it down. I got all the bonuses. Taking these out. And we made it. Thank you for the escort, Mr. Beam. I always have been a fan. I can't believe we got the carrier. Dude, carriers have so many interceptors, it's crazy. I don't think I would have beaten it. We saw that it had four hangar bays. Like, think of the speed it would have built those interceptors at. I probably couldn't have dealt with it. But that's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna get our new stuff prepared and we're gonna be ready for the next mission. We're gonna go to Amon's Reach and fight some real scale Void Thrashers. Now, I don't know if Void Thrashers are actually big, but I assume they're gonna be actually scary. What do we want here? Yeah, I think that seems pretty good. And then for the Army Council, we can either have, have new robotic support technology for the Sentry, which double regens, or the Energizer, which gives speed and a power field. One thing is that the power fields are plentiful here. I'm going to go for the shield regeneration. Like, so that when I start, you know, I buy expensive stuff and I want to keep it nice and healthy. Yeah. And then let's give the, what is this called? The Sentinel with his reconstruction a nice attempt. Charge into battle, get revived, do it again. Sounds great to me. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. My friends, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Real Scale Legacy of the Void. Tomorrow we head to Shakuras, and we are probably just going to blow up the entire planet, not with a temple, but instead with one solar lance, <laughs> as it should be. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.